What is up, Chubs? What is happening, my damn? What is up? <laughs> it is your girl, your favorite Chub, bet here. So, huh? So I have been. It's, well, I remember this lady, so I decided to do um, a reaction to her. I don't know if anybody remembers Sandra Lee. She used to have a cooking show. I forgot what, what station it was on, but if anybody remember her, they remember her, the two shots of vodka. And in here, two shots of vodka. Uh-huh. So um, she has this. So I said I probably would react to a couple of videos, but I'm going to start off with one. So I do remember this lady very well. And a lot of people was following her recipes. Obviously, she, got a, she had a show. So... We're going to react to this video called Smother Meatloaf. Now, it is not long. It's maybe like six minutes. I will link the channel in the description box if you want to check it out. So, we're going to check that out right now. Now, if you have any suggestions, feel free to click the icon on my banner on my channel to um, Instagram. And I will. And you want to leave me a DM of any ideas, I will sure check it out. And without further ado, let's get into Hello and welcome to Semi Homemade. I'm Sandra Lee and today is all about simple, creative comfort food. And it's gonna start off with okay. a savory smothered meatloaf, just like my grandma used to make. On the side, sauteed zucchini with garlic and herbs, and then cheesy cheddar cheese baked potato soup. Wow. Wait till you see that recipe. For dessert, a sweet cinnamon roll bread pudding, and then yep. it's cocktail time, a rich and creamy maple shake, and my tablescape, what? absolutely gorgeous. I'll meet you right back it here in the nice kitchen. Table setting. Now, my savory smothered meatloaf is super simple to okay. make. I put it in the slow cooker and I'll tell you why. It is literally going to melt in your mouth when you make this. It starts off with just a pound of ground beef, okay. and then you're gonna put a pound and a quarter of pork in here. Okay. And this is the I perfect combination well. for meatloaf. Uh -huh. It's all semi-homemade, super, super simple. Semi in here, I want you to put a couple things. First of all, you know that stuff you shake on your pork chops and your chicken? Well, it's got garlic and herbs and breadcrumbs in it. It's the perfect thing to put in meatloaf as well. Nice and finely ground. Now, I, I, I use breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs on mine. You know, sometimes the Italian ones, but it, you know, it doesn't have a lot of salt. This is like questionable it's, it's a lot it's kind of bit you know some of those packs can be a little sodium heavy so okay and then in here i also want to put a packet of beef onion soup mix this has all of those wonderful spices and heavy now on the to sodium. these i want to add just a can four and a half ounces of sliced mushrooms make sure that you strain these before you put the them in so there's no extra moisture. They are oh. great inside that meatloaf. And then to this, I want to give this a quick stir right after I put an egg in. Okay, I, I do an egg. The egg acts as a binder, as do the breadcrumbs. Uh-huh. Now this would be fine all by itself, but I'm going to even add a little bit more flavor to this meatloaf. Oh, First of all, I want to take just about a half a cup of evaporated milk, put that in a bowl. That's about half this can. There we go. And then a what? half a can of what? cheddar cheese soup. This woman had her own show. Evaporated milk and cheddar cheese soup. It makes me want to look into people that has followed her recipes, okay? Because she's talking about a little bit more flavor. Okay. <laughs> Now this is going to give the meatloaf a much richer flavor. Are you sure? And if you don't have evaporated milk, you certainly could use half and half. Something like that would be fine. This goes right into the meatloaf. Oh. And I want you to stir all of this together. Oh. And you have to work with it a little bit. I bet. 
Now, my grandma used to put this recipe into the oven, but I'm putting this into the slow cooker. Okay. And before I do, though, I want to put in some hash browns. Now, these are not regular hash browns. Hash browns. These are hash browns that have diced onions and diced peppers in them oh. for extra flavor, and oh. it really adds a lot to this dish. That's going to go down first. Oh, okay. By the way, you buy these frozen, and you want to thaw them out in the refrigerator. Wouldn't I saute them? And then nothing? come in here and just spread this around because you're going to create a little bed for your meatloaf to lay in. And that's about four cups of the potato. Wow. Now, I want to put this in here, and I don't want it to touch the side, so make sure Wouldn't you get it in the center because it cooks much more evenly if it's not touching the sides. Put that all in there. And now I want you to work it away from the edges, oh. creating a nice little meatloaf mound. Oh, okay. Now, to this, I want to add something on the top that's oh, going to add even really? more flavor. I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. Rich and delicious, but I am also oh. going to combine this with the rest of the cheddar cheese soup. Oh my god! Stir this together for some it's, special sauce. Gonna, Let me tell you. It's going to be mushy. Now this goes on the top of the meatloaf. Oh, 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 damn. And then you're just going to spread this over the top evenly, coating your meatloaf. Now on top of this, I want to add some fresh sliced onions. Are we not sauteing the onions? Just like this, just yellow onions. Uh, Lots. I don't, I saute my onions. I saute my onions and tear their translucent in my meatloaf. Is it she put on it? It's so much salt in all this pre-made stuff. I'm not no professional cook, but honey. Oh, okay. Some yummy flavor in there. This woman and had her also own show. I'm gonna put on here fresh sliced mushrooms. Now these are button mushrooms, a semi-homemade way, so you don't it's have to do any of the girl. slicing. You can buy them just like this at the grocery store. These are gonna go right on the top of the onions. And this is just about eight ounces of mushrooms. Put the lid on. It's now this goes into the slow cooker honey. on high for an hour. And then I'm gonna turn it down to low for six hours. And when this comes out of here, it's going to melt in my mouth and hopefully in yours. You've got to make this recipe at home. Ugh. Okay, now for the smothered meatloaf. Ugh. This is so moist. I'm not even gonna try and take the whole thing out of here because it will just fall apart. Now come I bet in here. It will. And you can see that I am just cutting this with a butter knife. It is that tender. Now for a nice scrumptious piece. Look at that. Mm. People was actually. And I want to just get in here and get some of this wonderful onion, mushroom, and potatoes down below. Oh. And then some zucchini goes on here. This is a comfort food dish if I ever saw one. And is now really? for the taste test. Oh. It looks mushy. Mm, rich and creamy. I've got the potatoes, the mushrooms, the onions, wonderful meatloaf. Mm, so good. It's moist. It's rich in flavor. This is incredible. You a lie. I want to know how many people followed her and made this recipe, okay? I want, I, I mean, of course, this was years and years and years ago, but honey, it looked so, I, I, I just, I was not prepared for that. I was just like, honey, okay, I might do another one another day, but honey, she did, Sandra Lee took me for a toll with this meatloaf, honey, so, <laughs> That is the end of that video. So if you have any suggestions, like I said, you can leave a DM in my Instagram. And I will be sure to check it out. And that is it. And I'm going to have to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. And if you stay to the end, thank you for coming around my way. Sada take.